What is going on, dreamers? We are live with some Fantasy Star Online. And I just made a very interesting discovery. I'm still using Megavolt's USB adapter today, and I thought I'd use the Xbox One X controller as the controller of the day. Uh, but interesting thing. So I have my Wii Classic controller that I was using yesterday in the, in the Wii Remote uh, on the desk here, and I accidentally hit it, and it turned on. And the interesting thing is that I can use both controllers at the same time. And not only that, I went a little bit further here. Here's my uh, DualShock 5 controller, DualSense. You're forgetting to call it DualSense. They all work at the same time, all on the same controller port, which is absolutely amazing. I'm not sure exactly what use you'd have for that. I mean, I guess if you want to play with someone else and it's only a single player game, you can swap back and forth. It could actually work for worms locally. Everyone could have their own controller. I mean, you can put a controller in every port, I guess. But then again, maybe you only have one adapter and one controller, or one adapter and multiple Bluetooth controllers. Um, that might work for you, but I thought that was interesting. So I can just swap controllers at any point now. I just have a whole bunch of controllers, so I just want to have some variety. <laughs> I can do that. So uh, that's pretty interesting. So uh, yeah, but I'm using it, in case some of you don't know, I'm using the uh, the Mayflash Bluetooth adapter with uh, Megavolt's USB adapter. So I can use a whole bunch of different Bluetooth controllers. Uh, but anyway, we have uh, we have John and uh, Marissa in the lobby before. I've not seen Marissa online before. Uh, so we have room for one more. I believe uh, Sonic is coming online. Uh, hello to everyone in the chat, by the way. Sonic, Mark, and John, welcome. Uh, Sonic says, "Be on in a bit, or or might not." You never know. Sonic is like the, the like the Riddler today, just uh, very confusing. He, he doesn't know what he's doing or what he's not doing. Who knows? Uh, but yeah. Uh, hello, Crimson. Currently playing on my Dreamcast NFL 2K1. Might go back to PSO offline because I need to get this puppy on the internet. You do. All right. Let's start a game. I believe uh, Sonic said something about his character being messed up or losing some progress. He went back to level 125. Is that what he said? Something like that. I don't know what, what level he was at. I think he was higher than what I was at, but not Afro Thunder. So I'm not sure. But anyway. I'm sure he's trying to sort that out currently. Alright, uh... Alright, Marissa is 32, so we'll have to do hard today. I actually don't see anyone else on Dreamcast now. So I don't know if Marissa's on Dreamcast? I mean, I'm not on Dreamcast now, that's because I'm using the Rob Band adapter today. Also using my hard drive modded Dreamcast, so everything's gonna load really quickly today. I was installing a VM2 update and I think I deleted my main PSO save that was 143. Oh man, you went that far back. That sucks. Well, I mean, if you backed up to the server, Sonic, you should be able to restore your character. I don't know if you've been doing that, but you should. Always back up. On a side note, I, I really appreciate the fact that PSO allows you to load save, load and save, well, no, not technically save, because it just saves automatically to whatever you loaded from, whatever VM you, you loaded from, um, but it lets you load characters from any VMU in any controller, which is really nice, because a lot of games will only let you load from controller one, 
Some of them only let you load from controller one port one on the on the controller, so it's nice that this game gives you the option to load from anywhere. Because I actually have my uh, my 4x memory card plugged into my controller on uh, port two, which is where my save file is. So it's convenient because I didn't need to move it over to or move my save file to port one. So good on you, Sega. Alright, I think I'm pretty good shop wise. Alright, let's go warm up in the forest. Not sure what Raspberry Pi to use to make Dream Pi. I was looking at three, but I don't know if it's enough or I should wait for website restock on official Dream Pies. Um, you can use any Raspberry Pi you want. You can use a Raspberry Pi 1 if you want. They all work fine. Dream Pie is not very demanding. Actually, I shouldn't say they all work, because it does not work on the Raspberry Pi 5, that new one that just came out. Which I don't think is in stock anywhere anyway. And it's just vastly overpowered for Dream Pie anyway, so... Yeah, apparently it's it's just too different from the previous Raspberry Pis, so it's never gonna work. Unless it's completely reworked. Which is fine, there's plenty of other Raspberry Pis out there. You have to register for it, right? I wasn't able to do that because I don't have the right PSO case to register with. Well, I mean, yeah, you do need, obviously, a legitimate key. A serial and key, not a shared one. Two copies of the game. Yeah, I have two copies as well, Sonic. Because why not? Oh, looks like we have another player. Nice. Sucks on Amazon, the modem to USB costs like 40 bucks, you think it would be nothing. Uh, wh which one are you referring to, Crimson? Because you can't just use any USB modem. There are only certain ones that are compatible. Dell, US, or uh, USB, yeah. Uh, Dell, Lenovo, and Zoom 3095. Those all work. There's a TrendNet modem that works, I forget the model number. But you can trade in a, a Dell or a, or a Lenovo USB modem on Dreamcast Live to get it modded with a line voltage inducer if you want to do it that way. Hey, Canal. Hope this turns out better than the last PSO stream. That one was, it was fine until it 
until it crashed. <laughs> I think my internet issues are sorted out. At least I was able to stream Worms yesterday for almost two hours and had no problem, so... Hey, what's up, Luke? Long time no see. I guess I'm soloing this guy. I don't know. There's there's the rest of my team. up here yet that the rest of my team may have already been up here <laughs> while I was over in the other area oh no never mind everyone else already go to forest too that's fine I'll finish cleaning up here. Oh, okay, they are still here. <laughs> I don't know what they were doing. Off doing their own thing. We can proceed. That is true, Luke. Definitely better than losing your uh, character entirely, which I've done a couple different times. first time I lost my character, I spent probably an entire day or two just <laughs> almost playing PSO 24-7 to get my character back up to where it was. I don't think it was that high the first time I lost it. But yeah, I was determined to get back where I was. 
A lot harder when you have a very high level character, though. <laughs> even even playing 24-7, it might take you a few weeks. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> Complete waste of magic. games are people looking forward to coming back online? All of them. <laughs> Just all of them. But of course, Street Fighter Mahjong being the number one. Because that's what we all want. We're good. I thought Bomberman was the most wanted. No. No one wants that, Sonic. Just you. You're the only one that wants Bomberman. Don't you know, everyone hates Bomberman. It's a terrible, terrible game, Sonic. <laughs> the goat. That, that, that's the problem. Bomberman needs more goats in it. There aren't enough goats in the game. That's my main problem. 
Not enough goats. One out of ten IGN. Yeah, you, you and Bob can go on an ultimate marathon, Sonic. Ultimate TTF++. plus plus. Just, just spam it. Dragon time. I think I'm going to switch over to the, the Wii Classic controller here. I think that, that'll give me an advantage against the, the dragon. <laughs> I, I can waggle the Wii remote at him. This is great. I can just switch controllers anytime I want. Luke got here too late. He's very confused. He doesn't know what's going on. We controller. I, I'm using Megavolt's new USB controller adapter, along with a uh, a Bluetooth controller adapter. So I can I can use whatever controller I want. sad that the uh, the motion control for the Wii remote doesn't work. It's so random. I like random, Luke. Random is my favorite thing. I, I literally have... Well, I technically have four controllers. I, I got the Wii Classic controller. I need to turn off the uh, autofocus on my camera. I got the X1, Xbox One X controller, I got the PS5 DualSense controller, all hooked up at the same time. And of course the uh, actual Dreamcast controller over here. I'm currently just using to load my save from. Alright. I guess we can do a quest. Go shopping real quick. I'm pretty good. Ever use the Retro Fighters Dreamcast controller? I have not. I've heard pretty much nothing but bad things, at least about the wired one. And I've heard I've heard people having are having problems with the wireless one too, so. I don't think Retro Fighters has a great reputation, at least on Dreamcast. Alright, I'm gonna go to the quest counter.
Yeah, I mean, in, in general, I've, I've never really had much of an interest in using any controllers other than the official Dreamcast controller. Only reason I'm using these now is because I, I built the, uh, the USB adapter. Uh, which I mainly wanted for uh, keyboard and mouse support, because I can use uh, optical mice and uh, regular uh, PC keyboards with it, which is really good. It's really nice, but I'm testing out all the functionality. Controllers, keyboards, mice. Uh, Megavolt's actually adding support for other stuff now, too. Uh, he just added support for, I think it was the Logitech G92 Racing Wheel, I think? I think it's the PS4 version? I don't have one of those, so I can't test that. But apparently that's working now. Uh, and then, uh, he's looking into some flight sticks as well, which I do have one. I have a, um... I have a Logitech Extreme Pro. Uh, flight stick. Be cool if that worked. Hey, Shadow Rage, welcome. How does one get set adapter? Well, I actually just put them up for sale on uh, the Dreamcast Live Shop today. They are available, or you can build one yourself. Uh, you can check the Dreamcast Talk forum for the uh, USB for Maple Thread. It'll uh, give you all the info you need on making your own. If you choose to go that route, you do need some soldering and electronic skills to do that. Anyway, back to the game. Let's do some... Let's do Endless Nightmare 4. about hooking up, hooking it up to the GameCube for GameCube PSO? Hooking what up to the GameCube? I'm not sure what you're referring to. Only $30 for the adapter, that's not bad. Then I can use an optical mouse for my playthroughs of Quake 3 Arena and Unreal Tournament. Yeah, I mean they're they're pretty uh, pretty reasonable to make, so I'm offering them for a reasonable price. And if you buy two or more, I actually didn't put it on there. I actually might uh, add that info. If you buy more than one, I'll do uh, 25 a piece for them. Even more of a bargain. You lost your red handgun, Sonic? I don't know how- I don't know how you lost that. I mean, you didn't get it within the last, uh, 20 levels or so, I assume. Unless you lost all your items, too. I need to find, uh, a wireless mouse that'll work with the Dreamcast. I only have one. I used to have others. Ironically, I just threw out, I think, a couple of them recently. I'm pretty sure they didn't work right. But I only have one left, and it was all kind of screwy when I tried it. I might try it again, just in case something weird went wrong last time I tried it. The only problem with the Dreamcast mouse I have, I have no problem with the, the regular ball mouse, but uh, the cord just barely reaches to my mouse pad in front of me here. 
I always have to wrap the cord around something in order to get keep it from uh, pulling backwards. It's a bit of a weird, awkward setup. So a wireless mouse would be nice. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just, uh, just email ordering, Dark Shadow. Nothing fancy. <laughs> Uh, shipping to the U.S. is four dollars, so thirty-three ninety-nine. Uh, I think we have to go back the other way. Puzzles. Interesting, the, the Wii remote is the complete opposite of the Xbox One X remote. Or not remote, but controller. As far as the power saving is concerned. Like, the, the Wii remote will turn itself off if you don't use it for... I don't know, it's not very long, maybe five minutes? It just turns itself off. The, the Xbox controller will never turn itself off. You have to hold down the button to turn it off. And I think the, the 360 controller, you can't even do that. You have to take the batteries out to turn it off. Because I think originally the console would turn off the controller. But if it's not connected to an Xbox console, it just never turns itself off. Which is really sucky. Bad design, Microsoft. Sounds good, Shadow Rage. Whenever you'd like. I got quite a few of them made. So they should be available. interested to see some uh, different and maybe weird controllers working with this thing. <laughs> Especially the flight stick. Flight stick would be cool because there's only... Well, there's the ASCII mission stick, which isn't really a 
flight stick, at least not in form factor. Even though I, I think it's designed for flight games, but it's very different. It's not your typical, you know, joystick style flight stick. Uh, there's the, uh, the Panther DC, which is, I think, the closest thing the Dreamcast has to an actual flight stick. But weirdly enough, they marketed that thing mostly for first-person shooters. Which I guess is because of the trackball thing, and then it's got the stick. I, I, I just can't picture using that for a first-person shooter. I mean, that's what it was designed for, I guess, but it just seems weird to me. I mean, I don't own one, so I, I can't try it. But, uh, I think some people have said it, it, is, it does actually work pretty well, but... Yeah, it would be it'd be cool to try an actual flight stick with some of the flight games on Dreamcast. That's what's kind of cool about uh, this adapter is it's it's kind of a community thing. I mean, it's. Uh, Megavolt hasn't open sourced the software, but uh, he's very open to, uh, you know, making updates and adding support for new things and stuff like that, which is cool. So I literally just asked him in the thread today, can you, can you add support for the, uh, the Logitech's flight stick? And he responded pretty much immediately, and uh, he's gonna add it, so... Very cool stuff. There are other controller adapters out there for Dreamcast, but I don't think, uh, I don't think any of the manufacturers would be that responsive in terms of adding support for new things and stuff like that. Ah, uh, yeah, payments are via PayPal, Shadow Rage. Wait, did that door open over here? No. A dream mouse works better for an FPS? What, what's a dream mouse gonna help? I was actually thinking of, uh, asking Megavolt if it would be possible to add support for the PS2 iToy. <laughs> I mean, it is a USB device, and the, uh, the DreamEye camera plugs into the controller port. That would be, I just think it would be kind of hilarious if the, uh, the PS2 iToy could be used, uh, as a, as a DreamEye camera. Alright, where are we going? I'm lost. I'm lost. Wait, are we going back this way? I don't think anyone else knows where they're going either. Although we're missing... John is somewhere, I don't know where John is. <laughs> yeah, okay, this is open now, cool. The mouse that works for the Dreamcast. Oh, yeah. The Dreamcast mouse. It's not called the Dream Mouse. At least I don't think it is. 
Just Dreamcast mess. Yeah, playing Quake 3 Arena with the controller is not great. I can do it, but uh, yeah, I, I'll uh, take a keyboard and mouse over that any day. I say I don't really mind using the Dreamcast controller to play first-person shooters, as long as it's single-player in, in a competitive environment. It's definitely a bit of a disadvantage. Like, I've, I've played through Soldier of Fortune with the controller, I've played Unreal Tournament. Unreal Tournament has crazy auto-aim. <laughs> so, it's not really a problem playing, uh, Unreal Tournament with a controller. <laughs> If, as long as you can point it in the general direction of the enemy, you're, you're good to go. I'm sure you can adjust the auto-aim. Oh, well, I don't know if you can adjust that. I know you can turn it on and off in Unreal Tournament. If you're using a controller, I don't think you want to. <laughs> mentioning Soldier of Fortune, I'm just thinking how awesome that would have been if they had online play with that. I love that game, man. Being able to play it multiplayer on Dreamcast, of course, would be uh, a dream come true. The second game, which I didn't like as much, I, I have it on Xbox, Soldier of Fortune 2. I, I don't like it as much as the first game. But that had online play. I don't know if that works with Insignia. I don't know if it's one of the games that they revived. If it does, I, I might need to try that. Just because it's my only option for playing any sort of Soldier of Fortune game online. Tournament is the big surprise online game we're getting. <laughs> I wish, Sonic. I wish. Seriously, where can I find a genie? <laughs> Would definitely be one of my three wishes. Just popped in Crazy Taxi 2. Good game. I, I like the second game better than the first one. A lot of people don't like the second game as much. I guess because of the... The New York setting. I like it better though. And I also like the Crazy Jump. Anyone looking forward to the new Crazy Taxi game? I hope it's good. You never know when they, uh, 
bring back old franchises. It's usually either great or terrible. Anyone working on the Unreal Tournament servers? Uh, not really at the moment, no. It, it's not a, a simple revival. And because the game isn't, it isn't peer-to-peer -peer like a lot of online Dreamcast games. It had a central server the, the entire time uh, that you're online playing. So it makes it a lot more difficult. I was waiting for the enemies to spawn, but we need to go through the portal. <laughs> Where's Marissa? Did we lose her? Or is she already... Oh, okay, she's already in the... The boss area. Not really boss area, but... Final area. Yeah, the, the, the sucky thing about Unreal Tournament is that uh, we contacted the developers and they were perfectly willing to give us the, the, uh, the server code if they actually had it. But they didn't back up anything. They don't even have the source code for the, the game itself. Which is crazy. Like, how do you not back up stuff like that? I know someone else out there has it. It's on a floppy disk somewhere. <laughs> Some guy's closet. I don't know. Sega hosted servers for Unreal Tournament all over the US, which means the server software was in the hands of many different people on many different disks. They can't all possibly be in a landfill somewhere. Someone kept it. I just haven't found that person yet. I don't think decompiling the game is really what needs to be done. Because you can already monitor what's, uh... Or the connection from the Dreamcast. But you, you, either way, you still only get one side of the conversation. You need to figure out the other side of the conversation, which is the hard part. Now did Sega lose the source code to Panzer Dragoon Saga? I don't know. Things happen. Some guy spilt coffee on the server keyboard. It blew up.
Alright. I'm gonna turn in my quest. Get my monies. Thank you, thank you. Kind of like how Square didn't back up any of their old games and lost all the... ...source code to Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9. Yeah, I heard that as well. Always make backups, folks. Of your source code and your PSO characters. <laughs> you listening, Sonic? <laughs> Alright. Wait, is that... Uh... Oh, John's here. I think the other guy left. Well, we got an open slot then. Oh, no, he's here. Oh, no, that's John. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I guess we'll do a TTF, but we'll, we'll wait a little bit. See if we can get uh, another player. out. Can't use the die grinder. Oh well. Well, while we're waiting, has anyone ever wanted to see PSO played with a Wii Remote Nunchuck? You're, you're about to see it. Although there aren't enough buttons on it. So I don't think I can actually fully play this game with, uh... With the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, but here you go. This is what you came to this live stream to see, didn't you? <laughs> I mean, it works. Uh, I tried to play Worms with this yesterday, but... One of the trigger buttons is not mapped. So, I wasn't able to actually fully play the game. You can kind of play it, but you're missing some functionality. Oh yeah. That's that. How you doing, lady? Have you met the techers? What, the, the, the guys from Shadowrun? <laughs> it's the only, uh... Is that what they call these guys? Techers over here? In the shop? I didn't even know that. Lady's giving me, uh... Very inf interesting information. Alright. I don't know if we have any other players. Where's Laws today? Hey, <laughs> Team BPA is here. Welcome. Yeah, you know, I'm not surprised you're late. You know, the bribe ended after being so slow and all. <laughs> so can you get the Choo Choo Rocket Cat offline or do you need to be online on PSO? Um, I don't know. I've never tried to get any of the special mags. I assume you can probably get it offline. You just need to feed your mag certain things.
All right, TTF time. I should, I should probably inform Marissa of what we're doing because I don't think she's watching the stream. <laughs> John is watching the stream, so he knows what I'm uh, what I'm doing, but she does not. I guess we'll do plus plus. Since we're on hard, we gotta ramp up the difficulty a bit. Oh, always watching. So creepy, John. Even when you're not playing Dreamcast, I'm watching. <laughs> I'm right out your window. Oh, Marissa is watching the stream. Okay. Didn't know that. That's good to know. the PSU stream. I'm, I'm not sure when I'm going to do a video on the, the power supply. <laughs> I mean, if you mean Fantasy Star Universe, I mean, it's on PS2. I, I can't do that. Maybe the closest I can do, look, I'll, I'll do this. J just for you, E.T., I'll, I'll play with the DualSense controller. You can pretend I'm playing PSU. <laughs> That's basically what it is, right? Fantasy Star Online, or Fantasy Star Universe is PSO, except you play it with a PS2 controller. Oh, that's right too, that was ported to the 360. Forgot about that. I guess that would have been a, a late PS2 release. I mean, I'm assuming, since they ported it to the uh, 360. Kind of weird that it went from PS2 to 360 instead of Xbox to 360. They decided to abandon Sony. be awesome if Megavolt was able to get the adaptive triggers in the DualSense controller to work. Those things are so cool. I love using that for stuff like racing games. You actually have tension on the on the trigger buttons. It's like a whole new dimension of immersion. <laughs> it's best with PSVR 2 with the, uh, the DualSense controllers. Or the Sense controllers. I always get that confused. The regular controller is Dual Sense. The, uh... The PSVR 2 controllers are Sense controllers. I guess it's because you have two of them. You have Dual Sense controllers. <laughs> it's all very confusing. I actually wanted to try and see if the, uh, the PSVR 2 controllers would actually sync with the, the Mayflash adapter for the Dreamcast. 
Like I said, I, I just want to figure out the weirdest controllers to use with the Dreamcast. Good job, guys. Two dragons down. You know what they say, killing two dragons is better than killing one. <laughs> the Ween Nunchuck was cool for show. Exactly. some really weird third-party Wii controllers up. I might have to buy some. <laughs> I only got, I only have the official ones. I got the Nunchuck, the classic controller. I also have the Motion Plus controllers as well. Um... What happened? I have lost control. And I don't know why. That's weird. Controller's still connected. At least the light's on, anyway. But, uh... No response from the game. I have to unplug and replug. Okay, now it, now it's saying it's disconnected. There we go. Apparently lost sync there for a minute. Paralysis? I do. I hate these things. Next episode playing PSO with the Nintendo Power Glove. I wish. Oh, you got disconnected, John? Is, is that why you were standing still and not moving? I guess that makes sense. Ooh! Ooh, it's a red lily! It's a rare red lily, guys. Soak it in. You may never see one again. Let's see what he drops. They always drop, well, they usually drop rare items. He dropped General Arm. Oh, great. <laughs> well, not dropping good stuff today, I guess. Well, now that John is gone, I guess I have to... Make sure Marissa doesn't die. 
I usually let others do the support stuff because I never think of it. Uh, I need to heal myself. Where is... Antidote, there we go. Yes. Yeah, it was it was my fault, John. My my controller going out of sync. That's what did it. the uh anti there you go marissa good as new the crazy boost figured out again in crazy taxi yeah been a while since I actually played some crazy taxi took me a while to figure that out that was a very specific combination of things you got to do to to do that I believe hope that helps is paralyzed she was anyway okay all good now PSO 10 on switch 2 <laughs> What happened to the other one, CT? All right, Durale, here we come. Are you cheering us on from the sidelines, John? Just lost count and started again at 10. 
Oh, kind of like a Windows 10 situation. gonna take a little bit longer without John, but we'll manage. At least uh, Durale is targeting me for most of his t his attacks. I can take it. I spoke too soon. There we go. That should do it. Hey, level up. Nice. Afro Thunder is more powerful than ever. to speed run the rest of this. Only got about 15 more minutes. Does PSO work with the mouse and keyboard? It does not. Nope. Just the controller. Okay, that trap thing is really annoying. Speed run. I'm just running through the doors. this down. You gotta speed run with me, Marissa. It doesn't work if I do it by myself. Uh, moon atomizer. Rise from your grave. You're very welcome. Guys, really tank the frame rate.
Alright. Who's opening this door for me? Is it you? No, it's not you. I'm definitely not getting a world record speed run today. <laughs> oh, the door is open, finally. I don't know what triggered it, but... I'm done with the Canadians. A bit of slowdown here, folks. <laughs> All right, the Dreamcast can handle it. It won't explode. Probably not. I cannot see a thing. Where did Afro Thunder go? I don't know. Jeez, man. I can't even move. I'm gonna kill this yellow guy. Okay, that did not open the door. I thought it would. This room is taking forever. <laughs> I just... Oh, man. Open the door, please. Getting very claustrophobic.
Finally. Jeez. Um, I may. pack. Hey, what's up, Milk Toast? We can proceed. I ain't killing all these things. It's behind the invisible wall. Okay, I got I got six minutes to defeat the boss and get through the uh, the ruins and defeat Dark Fells. I can do it. I don't need to bust up the screens. Bring on the gophers. One more, I think. Who's this guy? What happens if I stand on top of it? I wasn't quick enough. Can't believe it's the first time we've seen you have a normal run of PSO rather than the usual party speed run. It's a bit more challenging than usual. I mean, if I if I had Teal, it wouldn't be very challenging. But since I'm playing Zaphir Thunder today, 
bit more of a challenge. Come on, die already. You know it's inevitable. I don't know why they're so stubborn. Oop, where is this down? Wait. Did I do that? <laughs> I didn't even see her. I was aiming towards the stuff she dropped. All right. Dark Fowl's time. I think the uh, the ruins actually should take a little bit less time. Mainly those uh, robots and the uh, the Canadians that took so long. There's just so many of them. Well, the robots, technically, there aren't that many of them, but, uh... They have the ability to duplicate themselves. It creates the illusion. Oh, jeez. This may be a problem. <laughs> yeah, there aren't many enemies here. gonna kill the uh, the horseman here I kill him the door will open easier said than done I mean we are on TTF plus plus too <laughs> which in hindsight maybe I shouldn't have chosen that but we were, we were supposed to have John with us. John let us down. <laughs> there we go. guy opens the door. Perfect. Alright, final room, then Dark Fowls. Easy. Easy like cake. Could use some spells, too, I suppose. Can also do that. Not that that's gonna do a whole lot of damage. It's pretty, though. <laughs> oh, I actually killed somebody with that. Oh, Morris is down. I, I would help, but I'm kind of cornered. <laughs> Wait, is she not in this room? Oh, she's in the other room. We, we must stick together. Where'd she go?
Wait. This looks like her stuff, but where is she? Where's Marissa? I have no idea where she is. Oh, she's still alive. Did she teleport back? Her stuff is here. Well, anyway, I guess I'll, uh... Proceed. I think it's the Chaos Bringer that opens the door here, too. much need for uh, telepipes here, Necro. So we're playing TTF, so it's, there isn't very far to go. Let's go back through the portal to the ruins. Ah. Alright, door is open, so... Can't teleport to the ruins? Okay, I'll put that in a telepipe. I thought you could. Okay, I am out of fluids. this confusion thing. Alright, I'm out of here. I'm not sticking around. <laughs> I've got fouls to kill. Alright, let me, uh... Where's the, uh, shortcuts? I need to change... I thought I had fluids there. Okay, never mind. I have tri-fluids. Right there. Perfect. All good now. Marissa's still in here fighting? Where'd she go? I, I can't keep track of my teammate. And I'm frozen. There she is. Alright. This way, Marissa, before you die. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, too late for that. Um, and I died too. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Jeez. I escaped all apparently though. That's good. Ah. It's not going well. There we go. I lose my stuff. Where's my gun? My gun. 
Did I pick it up? Oh, there it is. Ah, jeez. You know, I didn't want to kill everything. But they're forcing my hand. Can't even get to these guys. <laughs> can only shoot their diamonds. Whatever they are. again. Alright, we can go. <laughs> I have to keep appearing in front of the door. Go away. Done with you. Chaos bringers trying to follow me. Let's go, Marissa. Well, I guess we killed everything. <laughs> so much for the speed run. Alright, we'll see how Fowls goes. At least there are fewer enemies, except for the, uh, the spinning tops. The Beyblades. Takes care of those things. I'm just ignoring the Beyblades. They can do whatever they want. They're just a distraction from me killing Dark Fells. you. Or at least change forms, anyway. is gonna die in one hit from that every time.
All right, I'm bringing out the dragon. Oh, Merz is dead. I thought I could freeze him for a second so Merz wouldn't die. But that plan didn't work. I know I don't have to use the moon atomizers. I can use my uh, spell as well, but... Oh, jeez. Am I gonna die? Come on, unfreeze. Unfreeze. There we go. Dark Falls does have the final form on hard, right? I think he does. Or is it just very hard? Uh, Reverser. It's, it's been a while since I did a 45 minute run of TTF. She's <laughs> usually about 20 at the most. So, I think he does have the final form on hard, right? Yeah, he does. Okay. No guarantees I'm gonna keep you alive, Marissa, but <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> oh! I say that and then I die. And then Marissa died too. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well... I don't think there's anyone that's going to revive us, so... And... Now we gotta go back there. Oh yeah, it, it does only show Forest 2. It's not a way you teleport to... Whatever area you made it to. <laughs> Through, but I'll put down another telepipe. This is all your fault, John, for abandoning us. <laughs> you should feel bad. Blame my ISP. If you had Sega Net, this wouldn't be a problem, John. I'm gonna give this one more shot because uh, this is gonna be tough. I think I can survive. I mean, if, if he kills me in one hit with those light attacks, then, uh... Then we're probably not gonna be able to do it. I was a little bit down on health there, so...
Uh, I don't have my gun. I gotta... Wait, do we have to do this over again? Oh, we do. Shoot. Okay, I have another gun. Oh, I only have these. Ah, oh, shoot. And they're fine, but... Oh, that's right, too. My gun should be here. There it is. Let's find the saddle, too. Yeah. Uh, we're just gonna give this one more shot. I don't like to give up, but I'm short on time, too, so... Yeah, the- all of the enemies online are more difficult than they are offline. Sega did that to balance it out. I wonder if the, uh, repeater would be better for... At least this part, anyway. I like the range for the regular handgun for the last part. So Fowls is constantly flying away. It's not very far away here, though. I'm not gonna revive you here, Marissa, since uh, I don't really need to. I will revive you at the last part. I just want to make sure you get the XP at the end. Or I'll try to, anyway. Be a Fowls Trooper. Or be, 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 be a Fowls Trooper. Be a Trooper, Fowls, is, is what I meant to say. Just die now. Just die quickly, get it over with. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna make sure I'm at full health here. 
Don't, don't immediately die like it did last time. Probably not the greatest time to actually revive Marissa. She's gonna immediately die here. I may immediately die. I don't know. I'm fine. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep her alive. I'm gonna at least try and do some damage first. As soon as he does that mirroring thing, that's gonna really suck. Oh, I'm invincible. Sweet. Oh, that's really gonna help. It doesn't last forever, but... Ah, man. See, I hate the range on this thing. Hit me with your best shot. Well, okay. <laughs> Invincibility ran out. Fowls has plenty of invincibility. Totally unfair, man. I'm switch to my lock gun because in the extra range. Okay, now he's doing that. Probably kind of pointless doing this. Whatever. I'm gonna do some damage to myself. That's alright. I'll be fine. <laughs> yes, yes you can type when you're dead. The dead can speak. Why do you gotta keep doing that? I'm going to take some fluids. Hopefully, I don't die. I died. Jeez. Of course. Alright, well... I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> I probably could if I uh, gave it enough time. I knew I was gonna die if I tried to refill my, uh, my TP. I'm just gonna go back and grab my stuff. And uh, then call it quits. I hate to do it, but I am out of time. 
Alright, I'll put that in another portal for you, Mirza. Actually, she has to go through the boss portal with me. In order to grab her stuff. <laughs> it's the most fun I've had dying. <laughs> Alright, so just come back, uh, grab your stuff, and then just save and quit. It's the only thing that's uh, annoying, if you do give up on a boss battle, you, you, you still have to go back and get your stuff. Unless you don't care about your stuff. stuff right here. Perfect. Alright, I am out. Laters. Fowls wins today. He wins today, not next week though. I'll have my vengeance next week. It's fine, it's a little bit of a, a delay until I get my vengeance. That's fine, I'm patient. All good. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today's live stream. I need to check what uh, tomorrow's Game Night UK game is. Uh, let's see. For tomorrow is... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, tomorrow is Gundam Game Night. So I may stream uh, Gundam tomorrow if I have time. We'll see. Uh, but uh, yeah, that is it for today, guys. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for playing, and until next time, keep on dreaming.